Sphagnum moss is another species I fell in love with many, many years ago. There are so many really interesting properties about this species that <laughs> there are just too many to mention in this video. You know, back during World War I, and I think even during the Revolutionary War, they were having trouble, you know, keeping up with bandages for wounded soldiers and stuff. Eventually, they started using sphagnum moss when they were in the habitats that had that for lack of any other bandaging. And then they found that the soldiers in the wounds that had sphagnum moss on them actually healed at a much quicker rate than, you know, just regular bandages. I've actually used sphagnum moss to relieve chafing around my belt and boots and where my backpack straps go on long camping trips. I've also used it to relieve sunburns that were really uncomfortable and it even helps with things like stinging nettle and stuff. It's a very cooling plant. It's so comfortable. When it's dry, it also makes wonderful padding. Some species of sphagnum will actually turn red after spending large amounts of time in direct sunlight. What's cool is this red protects the chlorophyll from photo destruction. And it can sometimes be influenced by the amount of iron in the soil. So to make up for the low height and spreading its spores out, it actually utilizes a very special trick. The spore pod relies on the sun's heat to build up pressure more and more within the pod until eventually there's a release at the top of the pod where it ruptures open, shooting the spores out. That's not the trick, however. The trick is they utilize vortex rings to spread those spores farther out. Vortex rings are basically like smoke rings. And as that ring spins, it actually causes it to rise higher, of course, spreading those spurs out just a little bit further. That's incredible stuff. In fact, this is the only organism that we know of that has this ability. Also, as sphagnum moss pulls nutrients from its surroundings, it releases hydrogen. How about that? <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos, but make sure you click that bell icon and hit all so that you'll actually know when my new videos come out. I've got many more just like this one and all sorts of other exciting wildlife videos. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.